Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is Technically T, and today we're bringing you the installation and little mini review, quick review, of the Whitestone Dome Glass for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, I do want to give a huge shout out for Whitestone for always dropping me one of these to actually install and review. They actually dropped me two, so you never know. Stay tuned to the video, man, or stay tuned to the page, stay tuned to the Twitter. I might do a giveaway for another one that i have for the note 9 so stay tuned for that but as you know here is the white stone dome glass you already know nothing too much to read from the box so what i want to do is let's go ahead and get all of this out of the box and then i'm gonna go ahead and pop the camera back on and we're gonna proceed with the installation let's go ahead and cut straight to it all right so we got everything laid out now i'm not going to go over what each individual piece does because you're going to be you're going to see it basically once i start installing it so let's go ahead and move this frame to the side and let's pick up my note 9 real fast and first things first we always got to wipe it down so you get one of these alcohol swabs you grab your phone and you're going to basically get rid of all these little fingerprints that i already seem to get on it even though i just took it out the box so Let's knock all of these fingerprints off. Make sure you want it, you know, get it good. And you, they actually say go in one direction. I guess that might make it a little easier. So you can kind of do it in one direction. You know, clean it up, do what you do. Next, we're going to grab one of these microfiber cloths. And let's go ahead and wipe it down. Make sure you get it real nice and dry. Don't worry about lint because we're actually going to get the lint in that next step. So just go ahead. You just basically want to get this. You know all that wet alcohol wipe actually off the device all right so let's go ahead and grab our frame now one thing to pay attention to on that top as you see it says speaker there so one thing you want to know is speaker make sure the speaker is on top so put the top of your phone where it actually says speaker so we have it right there next thing next we are going to grab as soon as i can find it here we go we're gonna grab one of these dust removal stickers now this is basically for removing any dust particles that you see up here but i'm gonna be honest with you i don't really see many it's actually pretty good right now so and trust me if one's up there you'll see it as soon as we put the screen protector on because you already know you know how that goes but for the most part this seems pretty cool i don't see much on the actual screen itself so we'll rock with it and say that we don't have anything up there. So dust removal sticker, get that to make sure you got all of the dust off of your actual phone. Next step, we're gonna take one of these and this is basically a speaker guard. So you wanna take it and place it above your speaker right here, just to cover that speaker up so you can protect it. Don't let, don't, don't, don't mess it up like I did my S9 Plus, if you see my video. It wasn't Whitestone, it was another company, but we're not gonna say the name, but just don't mess it up. Make sure you put that speaker guard right there. Next thing's next, we're gonna go ahead and put the front of the, um, the frame on, and I'm going through this real time. So ums, ahs, whatever, this is always a hard video to make because you're actually walking through it just like, you know, even if I wasn't making a video, this is exactly how I would be walking through it. But you wanna pair the speaker up, as you see, speaker up top one more time, speaker on the top over there. So you wanna put it down both where it says speaker. Now, one thing that I found out that was a little bit difficult with this case is you really couldn't, and let's take this off so I can basically show you what I'm talking about. You couldn't put these in the, in on the side to where it mops up some of that glue. As you see right here, I don't know if you can see, but there's actually a, a plastic tab there, so you really can't put that in there. So I don't know if that's a design or Whitestone meant to do it that way, but it really hinders you and it won't let you put these actually in the side slot. So for the first time, I'm gonna go without using these. We're not gonna use those because I really can't figure out a way to get this with the frame on. So we're gonna leave that leave that be there and let's just rock out with it how we have it here. One more time, let's go ahead and get these dust. I see a little bit of particles up there. So let's remove these last few dust particles there. All right. Next, we're going to put this bridge on. So we'll slap this bridge on right here. We're going to take this glue. Now, this is actually your glue. And what you're going to want to do is take the top off the colored top. And that's basically not going to release the glue, but that basically lets you screw that onto the actual bridge itself. So let's go ahead and screw this into the actual bridge. So there it is on the bridge itself. 
Let me move some of this off to the side so I can make sure I'm looking at the right thing. Actually, how are we gonna screw this on the top? We don't even have the top of the bridge on. Like I told you guys, this is real deal. A lot of people gonna edit stuff out. I'm not editing the thing out when I'm doing this. This is straight uncut with it. <laughs> now we're gonna put this back on. Make sure you have that piece on, screwed on. Everything is cool. We're going to take, this is the basically tab that allows the screen protector to be released so the glue can flow down and you know adhere to the screen protector. So we're gonna slide that little piece in. If it slides in, right there. All right, so I think we have everything set up. Let me one over everything before we hit and release this glue. So let me look over, make sure I have everything right because I don't read any instructions. I'm just going from my previous experience installing these bad boys. So I think we are good to go. And if I mess up on camera, then you guys will see it. Let's go ahead and take our screen protector out. Now, we're not ready for this quite yet, but when we do, let me go ahead and take it out, put it to the side so I can get it ready. Next step, guys, what you want to do is unscrew this valve. And what this is going to do is release all of the glue down. So if you can see right here, all of the glue is right there. Now, we're going to let this sit for a few seconds. What I always tend to do is just give it a little tap to make sure all of the glue is out of there. I give it a little tap, make sure all the glue is actually out, and then you can go ahead and remove this. Just be careful when removing it in case some little excess glue might drop. So let's just remove it like this. All right, next things next. Here is the screen protector. So now we are ready for the screen protector. So let me not move it around too much. I'm already ready to mess up. So let's go ahead and peel this off. All right, so let's peel that off. Let's go ahead and line it up as you see right here. And let me turn it back around because I work better because I'm right handed. So I don't want to mess it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to tilt this actual display, this whole frame. We're going to tilt it so the glue can run to the middle. As soon as it gets to the middle, we're going to pull this tab and we should be good to go. So as you see, here's the tilt. We get to the middle. Boom. Pull that tab out and let it do its job. Now it should fully adhere. Let it sit for a few seconds so it can actually disperse through the whole screen. As you see, it is moving. So you're basically gonna sit there and let gravity do its thing. Let it make sure it adheres all the way through. And it usually does. Usually, these these I've never really had issues with these screen protectors. So we're gonna let it do its thing fully. Take it out, clean it up, and voila, the installation will be done so we're going to tilt it up a little bit let it get to that bottom corner as you see here it's still trying to get to that bottom corner but it is going slowly but surely and you can force it you can make it go you know so there it is it filled out perfectly so we are good to go let's let it sit there for a moment let that adhere and then we're going to take it all off and then that's when it's going to be time for the uv light all right, so letting it dry up for a little bit. I probably let it sit there for about a minute. So now let's go ahead and pull out this UV light and let's go ahead and get the drying process going on so we can actually remove the screen protector from the frame and it should be a perfect installation. So let's go ahead and swing over here. Here it is, the UV light. Plug it in, has your little power button right here. So basically what you wanna do is set this on top of each section for around 30 seconds and then we're going to take it out the frame and we're going to do that whole process again. So let me cut it off so I can go ahead and do a fresh reboot. Now I'm going to fast forward this part so you don't got to sit here and watch me do this. All right. So hitting that 30 seconds on each section. Now it is time to absolutely take it out the frame so as you see here let's go ahead and take this frame off there a little glue may have got stuck in there so it's a little hard to take off and we're actually going to take it out of the frame now like i said i think a little glue got to the bottom but we should be able to get it out just fine just just, just kind of bend it up a little bit and it comes out just fine there so yep a little glue did get on it indeed but we're going to set this on top and it's just this plastic where the glue actually got on it we're going to set this on top of this and we're going to actually hit it again for about 30 seconds once again i think we do about 15 seconds now on each individual section and then we should be good to go so let's do it again
Now, after getting it all cleaned up and everything, as you see, the final result is another perfectly installed Whitestone Dome tempered glass screen protector. These guys kill it. They knock it out the park. The installation is actually very easy. Don't really get too out of, you know, don't, don't get bit out of shape if you think you're going to mess it up. Because usually if you follow the directions, it's really no way you can mess it up. So follow the directions to a T. Watch a few YouTube videos. I know I did before. When I first started installing these screen protectors, watch a few YouTube videos so you can make sure you get, you know, every step and what you have to do. But as you see, I stepped through it and I missed and I did, you know, I kind of messed up steps here and there. But all in all, here is a screen protector installed. As you see, it is another perfect install on the edges and everything. There is no issue when it comes to this screen protector at all. So, you know, I do tons of case videos. So all of these will be based off if it's compatible with the Whitestone Dome since people ask me that question all the time when it came to the S9 Plus. So every case video that you see, the white stone will be up there so you'll know if it's compatible. Now you already know guys, this screen protector will run you around 50 bucks. I didn't even look at it on Amazon, but it usually tend to range from 45 to 50 bucks on Amazon. Yes, it is a pretty little penny to pay for a screen protector, but you spent 13, 1400 bucks for a phone, what's 50 bucks to make sure you have a protected screen in the case of an emergency. But like I said, I do have an extra one that Whitestone sent out to me. So if you are a subscriber and if you do have a Note 9, let me know in the comments section below, man. I'm going to pick a random person and I will mail you that extra Whitestone Dome tempered glass screen protector, man. But as always, give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Comment, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.